welcome. This is a continuation from the first message that I gave um, earlier this morning, November 7th, 2022. Um, so, yeah, this is a little bit longer than the first one that I gave. So I just kind of want to split it up. Okay, let's just pray over this word and say thank you to the Father. Father, thank you for who you are. We come to you to say thank you for all your words, all your messages, your light unto our path, being with us, keeping us. And for each and every new subscriber, that they hear your word and allow it to digest in their system. We praise you, Father, even for the, the, um, the people who have been with me from the beginning, Father. We pray and we thank you and ask you to bless them all, Father. Keep them, Father. Keep them in your word and just let them be blessed, Father. Let them be blessed. Bless all, Father, in your precious and holy name. Amen. All right, family. We want to say thank you for returning. Okay, I'm going to start out. This was with November the 1st, 2022. And um, he was saying a lot. So I'm just going to go down and just give you what is basically just for the family. So he said, um, speak to my people not to get sidetracked with the world or worldly things, issues. He says, stay focused on who we and you are as a people and walk into the path. He said, I have set the journey. It's long and it's tedious ahead, so don't exhaust time into useless tools. Don't exhaust times into useless tools. He didn't go into detail about what type of tools or whatever, but maybe you guys can um, decipher through it. He said, wait on me. I will set all things in action. And then he said, much love, family. My children continue to work on personality, he said. Souls for my coming. So he said, personality and souls for my coming. You will love the place. And he said, I have chosen and designed for you, my children. He said, suffering ends soon. We leave soon. Stay inside doing bad time and issues. In your area. What he said again. Stay inside doing bad times and issues in your area. He said stay focused on your surroundings and area. He said remember angels are there. Remember angels are there. So what we do. We call out on our angels. He said if you know if something is going to go down. Or you see something going down. Or you want to pray for somebody that you see. Even if it's at a distance. He said um. Strange sightings will be in the air and in the sky. He said, don't become alarmed. I am in control of things, my children. We'll be safe. This is a tactic for fear. He said, those who fear, read Psalms 91. I will hear their prayer, their cry. Remember, I'm here. So this goes back to that dream. One of the videos that I did a good while ago about I had had a dream that I was at the school or, or university and uh, we was like time to get out. And I was coming down the stairs to, to go to the restroom. Usually whenever I have a dream about going to the restroom um, or being in a restroom or using the restroom is some kind of trouble or something. So I remember going downstairs to look for a restroom and somehow I looked outside and then I had to step outside to look up in the sky and I saw some clouds. And I saw uh, a spacecraft and it was coming from behind the clouds. Now, I didn't understand the dream then, but I understand it now. And I remember seeing people, you know, everybody, they were scattered. People was running and hollering and screaming on that dream. And then I woke up. But this is this this right here. What he said is taking me back to that dream. Um, and then I remember somebody saying on social media this week that they are seeing things in the clouds and stuff. Anyway, let's get back to his word. He said, I tell you things ahead so you will be ready. He said, I love my children and I forewarn ahead of time. Sometimes he give me things way ahead of time and people have forgotten about it. Sometimes I forget. 
But I did remember that dream about that. Um, it was a white spacecraft and it was gigantic. It was huge and it was coming from behind the clouds. So what are they hiding behind the clouds? Hmm. Because now I see these clouds are so thick and they're humongous and they go all across the sky. What is going on? Okay. He said, my prophets are there to walk you through it. He said, this is why I'm saying things that must be fulfilled. He said, you are covered. Walk with me only, not celebrities. Oh, wow. When he said that, I was like, wow. He said, walk with him and not with the celebrities. He said, repeat, I forgive all. Just repent. My love is everlasting. And then he was telling me that I was on the right road for sharing what I shared with you guys about not to listen to that and that, you know, things was the way that it was on, on my video in regards to um, that particular celebrity. He was saying that it, that it is fake. So we know, um, you know, how people play Hollywood a lot of time or Hollywood. Okay. They've been in that industry forever and ever. So. And they've made us believe stuff forever and ever until recently. He said, um, they must believe my word, my messengers, or come to me as you instructed them. So he said, go to him. Just go to him in prayer. And he will give you all, all the answers. He said, I have all answers and will re reveal who the enemy is. He said, there are many, many more to come. Family, don't get bamboozled. I'm telling myself, Regina, don't get bamboozled. Okay. He said, walk with me. Walk with me. And you will walk. And you won't walk in darkness. Walk with me and you won't walk in darkness. He said, I am the light for mine. He said, it shines brightly more than you can imagine. Your eyes will sparkle to see. So move when I say move, not before. Tell my people not to surrender to the enemy's tactics. He said, learn how they move upon my people and my children. It's cunning. And they are throughout the world causing wickedness upon so many who are unaware of their devices. He said, I will learn. I will lean. I will lean on my leaders to guide my people. He said, many will be moving out into cities I chose for them much to do to collect items he said set minds and hearts on track who are lost he said spread my word my word endureth forever forever no end so walk by my word the rest i will handle and settle when i get there on my arrival family you shall see and then he said stay on board my loved ones Stay on board, my loved ones. Time is shorter than you think. Look up, for your redemption draweth nigh. Soon, real soon. He said, tell them they are my jewels for life. Say that again. He said, tell them they are my jewels for life. What did he say? What? He said, tell them they are my jewels for life. Don't put things off which need to be completed. And he was ending with, I'm inside you. I dwell in the righteous hearts. He said, much love. I'm here. Just call on me. And family, he ended it there. He ended it there. So please meditate on those words. And then he said on November the 3rd, he said, you will be, okay, I want to take, scratch that because I don't want to really share that, that part right there. He, he, this is what he said for the people. He said, tell my people to hold on, change is coming. And then he said, harvest is here. And he said, there'll be some blessings on November the 4th. He said, He said, keep focus ahead, not to allow things to sidetrack any of us. So it's me and any of us, because last week I was sidetracked for a couple of days. He said, remember what I said. And then he said, 
Cali will have an earthquake. Millions will. I don't even want to say the word. And so, yeah, that's that's a bummer. That's a bummer. I just, because I have family out there too, so. He said to just pray for their families and loved ones. He said he's letting things happen and his word will be fulfilled. Yep, family. Then let's see, here recently, like I think it was yesterday and the day before, he was going over the three days of darkness again. He said it's soon. Um, and then he said, I will bless my people soon. He said, we walk in harmony as well. Return to our land. He said, look up because your redemption draws nigh. And you will be safe through the next phase. You will be happy to leave this place. He said, I will hold your space for you. And then he said, the sick will rise they will be well again so just know some of the he said that some of the people that would be healed would be healed upon our destination and they would be healed by the waters i'm just still you know touched by what he been telling me about the earthquake and stuff so but it's going to be probably just more than not just an earthquake so we just have to pray for our strength Stay prayed up for the focus of us staying focused, staying prayed up for the lost souls, family. I'm going to end this. My heart is touched. So anyway, yeah, let's just stay prayed up, stay focused, stay in his word, walk in his commandments. Love everybody. If you don't love, remove the hatred. Forgive people. Hearts and minds got to be ready. Your soul got to be ready. If not, he said he's going to leave you. You're going to stay. He's going to allow you to figure it out later. Get it together. What is wrong with, with some that just don't want to take the time to pray and ask to see if the messages that um, the um, prophets are, the ones that's giving messages, if it's, if it's real, if it's true. Take the time to do that. It's not for just to find out if it's true. It's for your soul. It's for your well-being. So you can walk the walk that he wants us to walk. So we can stay focused. We can't stay focused if we keep looking left and right. I know. Usually when I, it, it takes me a minute to even bounce back. Last week it took me about 48 hours. And here I was, like I said, it, it falls on the battlefield. It falls in the mind. And you got to struggle with these thoughts. Um... Of all these things. Just know. Yahshua has the last word. Yahshua has the last word. And for what all is going with the fear and everything. Stay in Psalms 91. That keep us. You can stay in Psalms 70. Psalms 59. You can stay in the book of Psalms. It helped David. It helped me get through much when I was dealing with these wicked folks been coming after me all my life. Seemed like it was probably started, you know, later in my 30s. But I mean, it was being exposed to me when I was 18. But I didn't know anything about the word and what to read and how to pray. There was nobody there to teach me that. OK, it took a long time for me to learn. It was a long journey, hard journey. But family, reading his word, meditating on his word, fasting and prayer helps. Some people don't know how to fast. We'll talk about that another time. Because it took time. It's a build up. You don't just start out and jump into it. You don't start out and jump into anything suddenly like that. But family, stay focused. Keep everybody prayed up. Everybody prayed up. All the ones that's going to lose um, loved ones. Pray for their families. That's what he's been telling me a couple of times. Keep praying for their family and their loved ones. Anyway.
Have a great day. Great week. Much love, family.